Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Nick. And I have been patiently waiting for my Minkota corded foot pedal for my Riptide ST80. And when I was looking for this, I couldn't really find too much information online. Minkota was kind of vague as far as the corded foot pedal. And I was looking for some videos as far as operation and how this thing works. So I figured I'd do an unboxing video, then we'll go down to the boat and see how it is. So, here it is. And sorry about the light there. So let's get unboxing. Alright, guys, here it is the Minkota corded foot pedal for my Riptide ST80. And let's see what this thing looks like in here. Oh, not much left in the box there. Oh, that's pretty handy. Gives you some nice little rubber foot foot pads for the bottom of the pedal. Pretty soft, actually pretty soft and gummy. That's a nice pretty out of the box that I noticed. First we got some instructions. Riptide ST80 foot pedal. Now this whole unit should just be plug and play. Okay, that's what they're saying. So hmm, I can definitely tell you it does not look waterproof to me or water resistant. I don't know you know what as far as what they say about you know it being waterproof or water resistant. But uh, I definitely can see in here, there's some open holes to where if it does get wet, um, possibly could could affect the electronics. Now, this whole thing could be filled in with uh, epoxy. You know, some of the, ele the electronics could be filled with epoxy like they do in a lot of the marine products. Um, I just don't know. Um, from first inspection, right out of the box, it's, you know, it got some weight to it. It's uh, pretty robust. You know, the, the, the pedal is uh, spring-loaded here and spring-loaded here. So, you know, it pivots on the front and, and the back, um, which is nice. Um, looks like you have your speed here for the trolling motor. You have your autopilot light on here. And then you also have your constant on because this you can hit this pedal here and turn on the constant and it will constantly stay on uh, you can use this pedal here to go left this pedal here to go right uh, this is a momentary um, uh, thrust on and this over here is your autopilot on now this also pivots to the front and pivots to the back for your left or right when you have your foot on it. And now this switch I believe here would probably also be your on and off uh, for the thrust or I should say for the propeller. Um, let's see how easy it is to install one of these rubber foot tags. Sometimes these can be pretty tricky getting in and out. Um, you might want to put a little soap on them or something sometimes. But it uh, looks like they give you some slots here that um, you would just slide this in the hole here. And let's say you just twist it or push it up there. Um, hmm, man. Yeah, I might have to go. Oh, no, there we go. Actually, it's, it's moving. Just, uh... A little stiff in there, which is good. Don't have to worry about it coming back out, hopefully. Um, let's do this one here, too. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Kind of put them in there and then pull up on it a little bit. Uh, kind of slide in a little easier. Kind of hook the... They look like a little button head on top. And kind of want to hook them in underneath that slot and pull them up into the little keyed area. 
Now this thing also has some spikes here for you guys to have carpet in your boat, which is very nice. Um, and I can feel them when I'm pushing these things in there. They're poking me pretty good. Um, I do not have carpet in my boat. I have a flats boat, so it is just a fiberglass deck, and that is why in turn I am installing the rubber little stoppers here. And then they're pretty. They're, like I said, they're they're not bad. Uh, we'll see how long they last. Um, I might opt out and just cover the whole bottom and possibly like a foam material, like a you know a sea deck material. Um, they give you some holes here, here and here, to where if you want to mount it to the boat, you know, permanently. Um, but you know, we're not doing that. Um, this thing has to be, um, you know, come on and off the boat because I am also still going to use my controller, my wireless controller, because this foot pedal does not offer the spot lock. Um, so I'm going to see how this whole deal works with the both with using both of them. So uh, let's go out to the boat and see how see how it goes on first plug in should be plug and play i'll see you at the boat guys okay guys welcome back we are here now at the boat and i have in front of me instructions on how to install the foot pedal into the trolling motor it says number one remove protective covers from both connector ends it says align connector keys and plug foot pedal into riptide st motor be sure to tighten the connector retaining nut all right, let's go ahead, find both connectors, and here is our connector on our foot pedal end, and here is our connector on the trolling motor. Okay, let's undo, let's leave a little cord out. Okay. And I'm going to measure this cord out and I'm going to wrap it all up and zip tie it all together in a nice and a nice little little bunch and use some of this this uh, wire loom stuff here I got around my uh, trolling motor my power going down into the boat. So all right, let's see here. Let's plug this in here and And voila, that is it. That's done. So, I guess the next thing to do is uh, let's fire up this trolling motor and uh, see what she does. Okay, guys, I got the trolling motor all powered up now. I got the foot pedal all plugged in. And just as Minkota says, they say it really truly is plug and play. And everything got recognized. And you can see I cannot put the trolling motor down because I hit my spare tire in the trailer. So, just testing it here tonight on the trailer, you can see the little motor inside is turning for the steering. Um, over here, we have our autopilot light that comes on, and then we have our constant, that is for the propeller. Over here, we have our right and left. This is good for when you're using the autopilot mode. You can make a quick adjustment. You also have a momentary on in the center. Over here, you have your speed control. And then you have your momentary on on the foot pedal itself. Uh, all in all so far, haven't been on the water with it yet. But all in all, I like it.